so now we get to the placing and modeling of the rebars here i have a plugin named sophistic reinforcement detailing which you can look for in the net and find it and i've also put it in the telegram channel that we have specifically for the plugins and i've put the address of it here too and if you just look into telegram for at revit add-ons you can find our channel where we've specifically dedicated our work to putting the plugins and you can find the file there as well and we've put it there under the same name so you just need to know that the plugin that we have here can only be used for the 2019 and 2020 versions of the Revit and it may not load up for you if you have the 2021 version and so for the installation we can go here to this folder and open it up and then double click on the sophistic reinforcement detailing file and then here when the window loads up i'll just click on the i accept and then install after that we'll just have to wait for it to install so if you want to use this plugin you should probably do it before you start the rebar placing process and the reasoning is that you can use these standard rebars that we have in the plugin and then after that you can do a lot of the process much easier but if you place the rebars first and then install this you'll have to change the rebars to the standard variation that we have in the file so here i'll click on finish and then back out of this folder and we have the crack file in the emulator folder here i'll copy the file and then go to the local disk c here i'll open up the windows folder and then go to the system32 folder then right click and paste here click continue on this and now there we go after this, I'll open up the Revit file and then on the window that pops up here, click on Always Load. And now when the Revit opens up, you can see we have an added tab up here that says Sophistic Reinforcement. And if we click on it, we can see the tools that are at our disposal here. These can help us a lot when we're doing processes such as numbering, and also in shop drawing and processes alike. Even in places where you need to repeat a process, it can help you as well. So you can do the placing of the rebars using the tools that we have already in the Revit file itself and just use the reinforcement as a sort of help on the side. For example, we'll click on the setting here and then on this window that pops up we'll click on yes and then here it loads up the destination for the template files so for now i'll select the sophistic content us file that we have here and then i'll open it up and so now all of the tags the dimension settings the rebars and overall all of these settings will be imported into your project here so you can use its own default settings and then work your project much easier so now we'll just wait to see these settings be imported and then on this window here we have some settings which we don't have to touch for now and just click on ok and after that the file loads up the tips window which gives you a tutorial on how to use the plugin and how to for example insert shape images which you can uncheck the show box that we have here so that it doesn't pop up anymore so now i'll go to the families and then click on the structural rebar and after that open up the rebar shape and so here we have the list of the shapes of the rebars that you have been given and then after that we can open up the rebar bar families 
and you can see exactly the type of rebars that the sophistic reinforcement imports and the settings on these is much more accurate than the ones that are in the Revit file itself here I can select these which are the preset Revit rebars and then delete them so we can use these sophistic rebars only now this message says that the rebars are dependent on the coupler which we don't have any here so just close this it's not important and now that we've done the early work for importing the reinforcement file i'll just save it up to this point and then after that let's go to the north view all right then open up the plan here and then here we'll start placing the rebars and the process which we'll be covering in the next part